the 10 most expensive cars in all of Germany. Let's take a look. Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins and this is React with Hugs. I want to see how he reacts when he thinks no one's watching. I can't help it if he's weird. He's American. He's going crazy with that work. Everybody reacts differently. I think he's weird, but that's me. He's American, you know. Welcome to React with Hugs. Let's hop straight into today's comment of the day. So today's comment of the day comes from VTOLBULL6168. And they say, good reaction. And you are smart and clever as always. Thanks for the comment of the day. <laughs> I had to take this and put it as the comment of the day, not just for being very nice, which thank you for the nice comment, but more so because it says, thanks for the comment of the day. They are calling out that they know they're gonna be comment of the day, which is just hilarious to me. They already know they're going to be comment of the day and they're like, hey, thanks in advance <laughs> for comment of the day. So yeah, I thought that was pretty funny, but thank you again for the nice comment. Let's hop straight into today's reaction. So today we are checking out the 10 most expensive cars in Germany. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you will know that I don't know anything about cars. So this should be <laughs> interesting. I don't know anything about any, any cars. So I might not know any of the cars on this list, but we're gonna find out together, I guess. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below. Did this list forget any expensive cars that you thought you would see on the list? Or are any of these cars not actually that expensive? expensive or whatever your thoughts are leave a comment down below but let's waste no more time Los Gates. Germany is a country that knows how to make good cars. And despite your feelings mm -hmm. about what your preference is, you have to admit that German engineering has made their vehicles from their country stand up against other competitors from around the world. And sure. because of the quality of their vehicles, they can sometimes have some crazy price tags. And today here on FTD Facts, we are going to talk about the most expensive cars from Germany for the years of 2017 and 18. Hey, all you motorheads, what's going on? Hey. Um, so this is a few years old. I'm sure that cars have only gotten more expensive since then. <laughs> so this could get pretty crazy. What's going on? Dave Walpo here and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Now, today we're looking at cars from Germany. Why? Let's take well, a look. we've talked a lot about German culture and country in the past. And you know what? Just German engineering is amazing. And me, I kind of love cars. And I don't know if you're a big car. Maybe you're a bike person out there. No. Who knows? But today we're going to look at the most expensive ones that are from the country. Now, before I get in this video, just to remind you, it's brought to you by Grammarly.com. We'll talk about that maybe a little bit later. And of course, I just want to know, what is your favorite car that you've ever seen? Me? Opel Zafira. Ooh, a tough call between either a DeLorean or a 1959 Cadillac. Oh, I just love the classics. So let's start okay. off with the Audi S8. Now everyone loves an Audi, but this little beast has a top speed of 304 Audi. kilometers per hour. And with its V8 engine, it can crank up to 605 horsepower. And because of that, it is capable of going from 0 to 100 in 3.3 seconds. And the price Damn. tag for this little beast comes in at $114,900. $115,000. Damn! Number 9, the BMW the 6 Series. Now the 6 Series is capable of going to 100 in 4... I don't understand how you name the cars, the different series and the numbers and the names and all that stuff. I can't keep them straight in my head. <laughs> ...2 seconds with this petrol or diesel engine that pumps up to oh. 552 horsepower, which is a little bit more than its previous models since it began its release in 2003. I like the inside. And of course, these vehicles are Looks known cool. for their great safety and braking as well. And the price tag for a BMW 6 Series comes in at approximately... 122,000. Number eight, Mercedes Benz GLS 550. Ooh. Now, I never really got the idea of spending SUV. a lot of money on a SUV. I just never really saw the point. But when it comes to safety for your family, maybe you do want to invest. Because this one is maybe. one of the kings of SUVs with 449 Dang. horsepower behind its twin turbo V8 engine. That looks she fun to drive, done. though. And besides its nine speed automatic shift box, it can go up to 213 kilometers per hour and get to wow. 105.3 seconds. 
which is good for getting the family out of any tight situations. And the price tag for this SUV comes okay. at $124,000. Number seven, like the Audi house. RS7. With a 4.0 V8 engine, this all-wheel drive vehicle is capable of getting to 100 in 3.6 seconds. With wow. a horsepower of 560, she can definitely put some dust in somebody's eyes. And the price tag for this Audi comes at $129,000. I like the color. Number six, the BMW M4. Whoa. Now the M4... Oh. I think this one's my favorite so far. BMW M4. Okay, I'm going to save up all of my YouTube money. When I have a huge YouTube channel from doing German reaction videos, this is the car that I'm going to buy. <laughs> Our series is known for their luxury. It's something you might see James wow. Bond in. With 493 yeah. horsepower, it takes her Looks only so 3.8 cool. seconds to get to 100. And with a max speed of 261 kilometers per hour and pinpoint handling, she's not to be messed with. And the price for a BMW M4 comes in at approximately $133,200. Man, no if I just save up for about 737 months, then I would be like halfway, halfway there. So, you know. No, I just got to keep doing YouTube for another 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and then I can get one of these cars. Simple as that. Number five, the Audi A8L. So what can be said about an Audi that's not already been said or not Dang. already known? Lots Besides of the great luxury Audis. of this vehicle, she only takes 3.9 seconds to get to 100 and has a top speed of 208 wow. kilometers per hour. And for her, she has a price tag of $137,900. Number four, the BMW i8. Now oh. the i8... This one looks very different. This looks like a... I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I can't tell if I love it or hate it. It is one unique car on this list, for it is the only one on this list that has the ranking of the world's oh. first Petro... Okay. The butterfly doors, those are pretty sick. ...electric hybrid engine. But don't let that fool you, because it only okay, takes I like her it. four I like seconds it. to get to 100 it. kilometers I like it per and hour, I love it. reaching a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. Wow. And the price tag for a BMW i8 is approximately $140,700. Number three, the 2016 Porsche Cayenne GTS. The 2.5-ton huh. SUV only takes five seconds to get to 100, but has a 4.4-liter V8 engine with 422 horsepower. And besides its Whoa. cushy interior, it's good for families as she reaches a max speed of 210 kilometers per hour. And she comes in with a price tag of 159,600. I like how all the cars are girls. Hashtag girl power. Dollars. Number two, the 2016 Porsche 911 Turbo S. Wow. Now, what can be said about the 911 besides the fact that it is one sleek machine? To me, I've always thought of them as beetles that were on crack, but that's just my personal opinion because they kind of look like a beetle. But out of all this, okay. it has one of the fastest accelerations on this list, being able to get to 100 in three seconds flat. And the price tag for this beast wow. is $194,600. I actually drove a Porsche 911 before. The owner of the old company that I worked for in America had one of these, along with also another Porsche, I guess maybe the Porsche Cayenne, because because it was a Porsche SUV and yeah he let me drive it sometimes and it is very fast that's the only time I ever drove a car that was less than like 10 years old <laughs> And uh, it was fun. Yeah. But coming in at number one is the 2016 Porsche Panamera Turbo Whoa. S. And she is the most expensive on this list, although is not being she? as fast as the 911, which takes her approximately 3.6 seconds to I get think to I like the She has a 4.8 liter the look of V8 the 911 engine, more. capable of giving 570 horsepower and reaching wow. speeds of the fastest of 315 kilometers per hour, Dang. making her one extremely unbeatable machine. And the price tag for this Porsche My comes gosh. in at $200. $63,000. But either way, guys, that is house. our top 10 list of the most expensive cars in Germany. That's insane. My name is Dave Wobble, and thanks for tuning in. Now, before you guys get out of here, just thanks. let you guys know. Dude, okay. That is actually crazy how expensive these cars are. I don't know what I expected, but like maybe because I've only ever bought cars that are like over 10 years old. So <laughs> the most I ever spent on a car was like 10% of these numbers. <laughs> maximum which is probably also why i have never been interested in cars i feel like if i had a car from this list i would like and enjoy learning about cars a lot more <laughs> So yeah, I think uh, everybody that's watching this should like the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends and all that stuff, share the channel, and we can <laughs> at 
<laughs> blow up the reaction channel to be the biggest channel on YouTube, and then I can afford a car like this, and then I can appreciate the German engineering. <laughs> Yes, that's a great plan, I think. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, leave a comment down below. What do you think of the list? Did they forget any cars out there or was this a pretty good list? Keep in mind, it is a few years old now, so you have to factor that in when you're leaving your comment. But I'm curious how they did. At any rate, though, that's all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.